and a warm welcome to Austin, Texas and the Circuit of the Americas for the latest action from the 2019 Trans Am Series presented by Pirelli. We turn our attention to the TA class, where Ernie Francis Jr., last year's champion, and Chris Dyson have been going head-to-head -head all year long. And there are others, Adam Andretti and Amy Ruman. Ruman currently in third place and looking for a win at Cota 2. As it stands, Ernie Francis Jr. has 259 points to Chris Dyson's 238. Amy Ruman on 191, just ahead of Kerry Hinn and Simon Gray. But what about Ernie Francis Jr.? He won this championship last year, and Cota is definitely one of his great hunting grounds. Yeah, it was a really good qualifying effort for us out here. I uh, really love this track. I've been racing here for a bunch of years. My first ever pro race is actually around this place. So I have a lot of experience here, and uh, got pole last year, got pole this year. Won the race in the, in the TA class the past three years. It definitely helps us out, get some extra points out there in qualifying. Uh, looking forward to trying to finish off in the race and uh, get some good points to take home this championship. So, Ernie Francis Jr., pole position for the 100-mile race here at Cota. And it's Ernie Francis Jr. and Adam Andretti on the front row. Chris Dyson and Tommy Dreesey. Dreesey back in action after missing out a few rounds. Amy Ruman and Simon Gregg on row three. Kerry hit the Masters leader. And Michelle Nagai on the West Championship. As we start the race, look at Dyson start. Gets ahead of Ernie Francis Jr. as they climb the 133 feet up the hill at Cota turn one. Andretti going wide, it's three ways to the second corner, but then trouble as Ruman hits Dreesey. Dreesey would drop down to ninth place, and coming out of all of that, Ernie Francis Jr. gets the lead. Both Dreesey and Ruman would recover. Another look at it from Ernie Francis Jr.'s perspective. Dyson gets the apex, but Francis powers out and down the hill to hold the lead. And then Chris Dyson losing out, though, to Adam Andretti at turn 11. Andretti vowing to keep out of the way of the championship. But that was a good, clean pass. And Andretti went in pursuit of Francis Jr. Dyson now in third place, going through the S's here. By lap 10, Ernie Francis Jr. had built up an eight-second lead, but then disaster. Power steering going with 10 laps to go. Andretti would take the lead, and Francis Jr. would barely hang on. Very tough conditions to drive without the power steering in a muscle car like this. And he would drop, amazingly, just down to fourth place, but losing vital points in the championship chase with Chris Dyson. Meanwhile, Andretti was on his way in the Poncho Weaver prepared car that had won just two weeks before. But this time, it was Andretti, his first TA win in his career and his first win in Trans Am since 2015. Dyson second, and Tommy Dreesey recovering to take third place. Ernie Francis Jr. taking fourth. Um, this is our first TA win. It, it was definitely a thrash at the end, but man, when your adrenaline's flowing like that, when you're getting ready to win a Trans Am race at Coda, your adrenaline takes over. So with one round to go, Ernie Francis Jr. holds a 21-point lead over Chris Dyson. Amy Ruman still a solid third place. Kerry here in fourth place. Tommy Dreesey still in the hunt in fifth. Next time out, it's round 12 from Daytona. Until then, from me, Jonathan Green, goodbye for now.